our life is wrapped around the water. We've lived on the land that the water draws us. It's who we are. We're people of the water. We're all part of this web of life. Everything has a meaning, and the water is who Suquamish people are. We're people of the water. I remember when I was a kid at Chico Creek, I used to live there, and I had to feed our family, so I'd go down there and we'd drag salmon home on a, on a string just to feed us. Hopefully, some of my grandkids and their grandkids will see some salmon. Everything that we eat is pretty much deteriorating. Slowly, but it's deteriorating. It is kind of frightening to me. This is you know, one of our main sources of income. And beyond that, it's tradition you know, to me and my whole family. If we pollute this enough and the clams go, what are we gonna do? When I look at my fellow tribal members, I really realize how important it is to remember all the elders and what Suquamish stands for because our ancestors died for this right. If it wasn't for them, me and all my fellow tribal members wouldn't be here tonight. And this is one of the days I'm proud to be Indian, to say the least. We know what's going on. We know what the, what the changes are. You know, us Indian tribes, we're here all the time. We don't go anywhere. We're on the water. We're on the beaches. We're, we're harvesting and we're gatherers of our resource, you know? And we want, we want everybody, we want the shellfish growers to be there to help us in this coalition of keeping the water clean, you know, and keeping our, our sound healthy, you know? But our, sign, our sound is slowly dying right in front of our eyes.